Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening teacher. How are you? Evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, teacher. Nice, nice. So welcome, Carlos. And you? Welcome, Walter. Welcome, Eneida. Welcome, um, Joanna. Welcome, Thank Carla. How are you, everyone? Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Oh, great. Welcome, Pame Garcia. Okay, it's good to see you one more time. Welcome. Welcome to another amazing day. Well, yeah, it's almost done the day, but uh, uh, I believe it's, I mean, it's been a great day. I don't know for you, but uh, for me, it's been a great day. We're still alive. We're not in the hospital. We are here at home, probably with our family. Yeah. So I guess uh, there is a reason why to be thankful for. Okay. Um, they pay teacher the enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but that's good to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, I get paid on the 28th. So, um, so oh, now, really? okay. there's nothing, you know. To get groceries, <laughs> buy these, to buy the other ones. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. So it's good to see you. Uh, welcome, um, welcome, Eric. Welcome, Sandra. Hi. Uh, hi. How are you, Eric? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, what nice. about you? How was the um, weekend? I'm. Uh, it was very um, busy. Yeah, I'm moving to a different place, so I've been like mo moving in and moving out. Well, moving out and moving in. Mm -hmm. Really. Yes, uh, it's good to see you all. Okay, so I guess we are more than ready. It's nine o'clock. I guess it's time to start. Okay, so how was your weekend? I it's was Monday. You should be very excited. Yeah. Yeah. And Pam is like, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, it was, it was a, a weird Monday because it's the end of the month, but at the same time, it's the beginning of the week. So it's like uh, in the work is like weird, but it's okay. Oh, nice, nice. So how was your weekend, uh, Eneida? Um, very nice because in January 29 is my birthday. Oh, oh January 29th. Oh, happy, yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eneida. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Ya queremos pastel. So I hope you I hope you had a great day. Yeah, yeah. So welcome, Jason. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so uh, how about you, Marta? How was your weekend? I was uh, great. Oh, what do you do? I went to the beach. Wow. Which yeah. beach uh, do you go to? Uh, um, What's the name of the place? Mochilet. I heard about that place. Yeah, I heard about that place. Okay, I hope you had a great day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so how about you? Let me see, Sandra Sanchez. How was your weekend, Sandra? Welcome, Oscar. Hi, mister. Yeah, welcome, okay. So we're a little tired. Okay, good, all right. So uh, what about you, Joanna? How was your weekend? Very good and uh, uh, very easy. Uh, uh, I cooking the barbacoa. Oh, My barbecue. God. Wow. Very rich. <laughs> OK. And very delicious. Very yeah. delicious. Ah, nice. OK. okay. <laughs> what about you, Carlos? How was your weekend? <laughs> was very nice. I went to Santana Congo for my grandma's birthday. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, I think everyone had a great day. What about you, Walter? How about your yeah. weekend? Uh, I was bad because I felt uh, sick uh, oh. Friday at night and Saturday and Sunday. Today was great. Oh, yeah, okay. Was great. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I was lying down for the whole weekend. Ah, okay. Okay, I hope you are better. You're feeling better now. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, right. welcome, Wilmer. Welcome, Reina. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, good night. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, Wilmer? So, I was in my house. I didn't know and I didn't nothing. Okay. Because I feel very bad. I don't know what I have, but I'm I'm waiting um some exam. results. Okay. Result, yeah. Okay. So I hope uh, you can get better and I really appreciate that even you, I mean even you don't feel great, you're still here. So thank you for being right here and also you Walter because you were kind of sick on on Friday and then well we didn't have classes on Friday right but um yeah. but yeah so thank you how are you how are you uh Reina how was your weekend I guess your micro microphone is off I guess I don't we cannot hear you maybe there is a problem with your headphones mm -hmm. We don't hear you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, uh, Reina, we cannot hear you. All right, so um, welcome to another, well, as you know, this is the last week of this module. So how are you doing? I could I could see that you were having some problems with some, some exercises. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't really know how they do it. Uh, it's like, I don't know how. I don't know. Oh. Okay, um, because as far as I know, Friday is the last day of this module. So that means that you can still work on today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. If you haven't done any exercise yet, you still have until February the 5th. So I'm not sure uh, why do you, why you got the email or a message telling you that you need to finish so that you can get enrolled in the next one. So I don't know about that. So, but no worries, you still have until February the 5th because that's supposedly, that's the last day where you can take your final tests, okay? All right, so uh, welcome, Osmel. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, today, we are going to talk about past experiences and as you know uh, i'm pretty sure you were you were working on your exercises before you know like the differences between uh simple past and and, and uh, past per i mean present perfect so we you you kind of worked on that during the day so i believe by now that is clear for you or is it still confusing anyway if it is still confusing no worries because today we're going to be talking about that okay all right so um this is the agenda that i have the introduction uh review previous learning uh we're gonna have a warm-up activity and then we're going to be talking about food uh any exotic food that you have tried before so you can share with the group your experience and also um we are going to be practicing um i would say um some grammatical points with the topic or under the topic yesterday. And then lately we're gonna have a practice activity. All right, so what is the objective for today or for today's lesson? Um, by the end of the class, the student will, be, will practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever? Have you ever visited to your family? Have you ever been to Mexico? Have you ever eaten pupusas with, uh, with what? I don't know, with pepper or something like that? Or have you ever? And describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and the simple past. All right, so before, uh, before we move on, I would like you to tell me what did you learn last week? week what do you learn what last week mm -hmm. we learn about express wishes 
Yes, we learned about how to express wishes. Nice. What else? Mm -hmm. How to make comparison between uh, two things. Awesome. Yes. How to make comparisons between two things. And that case was uh, houses and uh, the apartments, right? Apartments. Mm -hmm. Good. What else? What else did we learn last last week? Indirect questions. Yeah, the indirect mm, question. And the indirect question was that last week or the week before? I think that was it last week. Was indirect it? question. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. this last week. Okay, 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 okay. You're right. Oh, then. I didn't know. I'm not... okay. No, I'm just saying too. Okay. Yes, definitely. We were working on that. Okay. So we're gonna play a game right now. Uh, the name of the game is Have You Ever? Okay, so this is the procedure to follow. We are about to play a game. You will need to open your camera. If your answer is just to the question I ask, for example, everyone is going to turn off the cameras, okay? If I say, for example, do you like pupusas? So if you like pupusas, you are going to turn on your camera. If you don't like pupusa, you still are going to have your cameras off. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, yes, it's clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Repeat again, teacher, please. What is it? And, and if I'm in the middle? <laughs> there is no middle. Right? Yeah. There the is camera. no middle. Perfect. Yeah. It's either yes or okay. no. For example, uh, vamos a hacer la prueba ahorita, okay? Uh, let me see. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, everyone turn off your cameras. Turn off your camera. Everyone turn off your cameras. Turn off your cameras. Joanna, okay. Reina, turn off your camera. Okay. Do you live in El Salvador? Of course. <laughs> well, let me see. Okay. Deben de, tener la mante deben de tenerla encendida hasta que yo diga next. Cuando diga next, ustedes tienen que apagar sus cámaras. All right? Okay, All right? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Turn it off. Turn off your cameras. Mm -hmm. Have you ever... Uh, Reina, Reina, turn off your camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever been to Guatemala? Okay, nice. Next, next. All right, In nice. the next caravana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you ever, have you ever meet, I mean, have you ever seen a celebrity? Celebrity. Oh. Just Shaka Idres. <laughs> Who is Shaka Idres? Or Shaka Idres? Or Shaka Idres? Huh? Our two brothers that sing, that are Salvadorian, but they sing in French. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Uh, what about you, Walter? Who have you met to? Uh, not in person in front of me, but in a concert, Alejandro Fernandez. Okay, okay. That, that, that counts. Yeah. Eric? Eric? Huh. Uh, I remember Basilo when they uh, came to Salvador del Mundo. <laughs> oh, Wilmer. Who, thank you, Eric. Uh, Wilmer? Well, I participate in Bailando por un Sueño, the first season in El Salvador. Look at you, Wilmer. And Maybe I, next time you can show us some, I don't know, like some movement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, maybe I'm next time. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you, Wilmer. What about you, Carla? Who have you met you? Uh, huh? I work in the concert for two show. Uh, I I conocí. I I, I met. Knew I met. I met. I met. Mm -hmm. um, gente de zona. Sebastián Yatra. Um, oh. Marco Antonio Solís. Oh my God. 
Yeah. Wow, the best. Rake. Ah, Rake. okay. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay, next, 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 next. Pame, okay. Ha, Pame, <laughs> have you ever <laughs> eaten an insect? Okay. Whoa, whoa, Wilmer. Whoa, whoa Eneida. Okay, tell us. Participating, survivor. <laughs> okay, Eneida, what, what have you eaten? Your microphone is off, uh, Eneida. A mosquito. Mosquito, wait. When I, um, when I open my mouth, did the, um, suddenly I, I feel a mosquito in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Neida. What about you, Wilmer? Wilmer? Wilmer, your microphone is off, Wilmer. Mute, Wilmer. When, when I was in the army in Colombia, uh, we were eating uh, crickets for one week. On the oh, crickets. Crickets. Wow. Like how yeah. do they taste like? Um, it's like a cockroach. A cockroach. What are crickets? Yeah. Crickets <laughs> are uh, saltamonte, grillos. right? Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, Gri grillos, grillos. grillos. Grasshopper, grasshoppers uh, are saltamonte. 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 Yeah. Grillos, crickets are no grillo. Like, uh -huh. The one that is like something like that, yeah. Okay, next, <laughs> next, next. Okay, next. Have you ever had a bad haircut? Nobody. What? A what? Have you yeah. ever had a bad haircut? Haircut. A bad haircut. Oh, okay. Tell us, tell us about it. Okay, Oscar, okay, Oscar. Oh, wait, wait. Is that a is that a bad haircut, Oscar? No, my wife in the I don't know, quarantena. Uh, quarantine, <laughs> quarantine. You know, quarantine, you, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, she cut it off. She cut it off. No, yeah, yeah, she did it. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Oscar. Uh let me see. Uh Walter. No, um, frequently, I cut my hair by myself, always. But um, one time, mm -hmm. how do you say peineta? I would say com, C O M B, com. It's well, and we have peineta, we have uh, many in Spanish, com. but in English, it's in general like the com, com. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but se destrabó and cut my Horrible. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm looks sorry like about that. A Señor de los Cielos. I look <laughs> like Señor de los Cielos. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, what about you, Pamela? Mm -hmm. Where my haircut, haircut, where it was a, like I have a, a shape here, but it, it, it becomes worse because. I have to keep that that hair too short. So when I I leave that that hair grows up, it's like oh for my my head was terrible. <laughs> okay. How about you, Anita? Thank you, Pamela. How about you, Anita? Your microphone is off. Yes, so <laughs> she's so inspired, like talking and talking, and then, uh -huh. yeah, tell me. <laughs> when I feel my hair a little dry, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, dry, dry, uh, yeah. I, uh -huh, I cut my hair, and my daughter uh, sometimes also cut her hair from my uh, daughter. Okay. So uh, once I, uh, yeah, for the quarantine, a friend of mine told me, hey, do you want to get a haircut? I said, yes. So I got, I guess I was level five. Level five? Mm -hmm. Level five. You wouldn't recognize me. 
And since nobody saw me and I was posting a picture like, hey, what's going on with your haircut? I'm like, well, I got it. It's a new haircut. You know, because I don't know if, if during the quarantine, you guys try something new. Do you try something new? They were like, no, nobody's going to see me. Who cares? Nobody's going to care if I get a very bad haircut. I tried that one because that was part of my dream to get a, my haircut very, very short, number five. So number five, everything. Well, it wasn't very good. Yeah. Okay. And the last one. Next, next. The last one. This is the last one. Mm -hmm. The last one. Turn off your cameras. Turn off your cameras. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Have you ever missed a flight? Have you ever missed a flight? Nobody? Have you ever been to the United States? Nobody? Wow. Okay. Let me the see next the last one. Caravan. Oh, okay. The last one. <laughs> Have you ever, let me see. Have you ever been on TV? Okay. Have you ever been on TV? Wilmer, yeah, bailando por un sueño. Ah. Oh, Marta, okay. Marta, tell us about your experience like on TV. Jardín <laughs> Infantil. <laughs> I was yes. uh, interviewed. Okay, what was the interview about? Um is a topic of psychology. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Marta. Uh, what about you, Joanna? Have you been on TV? Yeah, uh, in, I, I went to so, uh, Domingo para Todos in the high school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guardo Max. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so thank you so Daniel much. Rooks. <laughs> Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the good thing is that we're getting to know more about us. I didn't know that you were a good dancer. I didn't know that you have tried um, insects. It's good that I know that. Okay, so nice. Talking about uh, food, okay? Talking about food. All right, go to the chat and type the vocabulary that you know about food. Go to the chat, please and type any food vocabulary. Okay, let me see. Apple, blueberry, onion, mm -hmm. tomatoes, seafood, carrots, meat, apple, liver with onion, wow. <laughs> Potatoes, garlic, fish, lettuce, crab, carrots. Tomatoes, meal, pizza, patat, pat, potato, or patatas, yeah. Lettuce, burger, meat, bean, shrimps, tomatoes. All right, cheese, cucumber, rice, pepper, ice cream, pizza, potato, pizza, strawberry. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, hamburger, grapes, onion. Okay watermelon, carrots, etc. All right, very good. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one and let me know. Let me see. Okay, if you see here, I have some vocabulary that you were mentioning. I know you know all these vocabulary. This is just a review, okay? Some kind of food that we have. We have spaghetti, chicken, french fries, salad, bread, Steak, cereal, fish, soup, hamburger, pizza, hot dog, sandwich, cheese, fry egg. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you know how to say huevo and torta in English? Does anybody know how to say that in English? <laughs> huevo and torta, like, hey, mom, I, I want... No. Huh? No. 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 Anybody? Mas I want an Mas egg oh, in well, a... Oh, 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 well, okay. Okay. Um, it's yes. yes and no. Omelette. It cannot be omelette. 
because remember when we are eating or we're having omelette it's like um like like we went torta with a lot of things in the middle and they are covered right with uh cheddar or american cheese right so that's kind teacher. of different yes 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 teacher yes yes coloroco <laughs> okay okay that's good okay so you can say some side up egg okay huevo en torta sun side egg all right sun side up egg huevo en torta all right so how about huevo picado how do you say huevo picado in english Scramble eggs. Scramble eggs. Yes. Scramble eggs. Scramble eggs. Good. How about huevo duro? Or huevos, or huevo, you say like huevo hervido or huevo, I don't know how you guys say it. A boiled egg? Boiled egg. Yes. Thank you, Enrida, and thank you. <laughs> no, Marta, it's no egg hard. No. <laughs> boiled <laughs> egg. But thank you for trying. Thank you so much for trying. That's the attitude, okay? Stringer egg, what is that, Wilmer? Stringer? I never heard, strong, oh, you mean stronger, strong egg, like stronger? All right, thank you. Okay, nice. So we have sausages, we have cake, we have rice. Next. Okay. Tell me about any exotic food that you have ever tried. Teacher. Yes. Sorry, uh, how did you say well picado? Scramble egg. Scramble egg. Scramble. Egg. Mm -hmm. Can you type in the in the chat? Yeah, can anybody help uh, Carla Jovel have how to say it's scramble? Let me see if you know. Scramble. Let me see. S scramble. Yes, there you go. There you go. Scramble egg. It's the who said it? Uh Joanna. Yeah. Thank you, Joanna. Scramble egg. Scramble egg. Okay. Thank you. Well, Reina Trigueri, if we say a uh, chop, it's like with a knife, con un cuchillo, así, cortándolo así. <laughs> so if we chop egg, but a scrambled egg is like that. Okay, when you are steering. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. Be chair. Yes. Be chair. Yes. I think the scrambled egg uh, have a little M. A little what? M? Uh-huh. Little M, a scramble L. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. Joanna type S C R A M B L E D. Scramble egg. Okay. Yeah, it's right okay. there. Okay. Okay. Uh what do you mean, Reina? Like Savrose? Savrose? Oh, how can I say Chontaduro? Okay, maybe Chontaduro. Eh, is that a typical, is that a food from the Salvador, Wilmer? Exotic food, sabros, teacher. What is sabros? Okay, tell us, Reina. What is sabros? Reina, yo creo, Reina, que, que, que su micrófono... Es que este, este teléfono es algo loco, yo pongo las palabras y me las confunde, y tras que no puedo. <ríe> <ríe> Mira, hay que, hay que traerlo más seguido a la escuela para que venga a aprender inglés y no le pongan las palabras en español. <ríe> <ríe> es que siempre que pongo una palabra, pum, y le doy a enter, me tira otras palabras, y a oh, veces yo no me fijo. Es porque quizás... Es, es porque... Me ah, encanta porque... la comida que ha puesto ahí. Ok, yo creo, Reina, que su teléfono le hace así porque quizás usted lo tiene en español. El, por eso es que cuando usted coloca las palabras en inglés, le busca una palabra que sea más cercana al español. Por eso le agarra esa. Sin embargo, si le pusiera el de inglés, le reconocería las palabras en inglés. Ok, but thank you, Reina. Ya yes, Wilmer. Ok, a Pero Wilmer. Primero le tiene que enseñar inglés. <ríe> ok, Wilmer. ¿Qué es eso, Wilmer? Chontatu, chontaduro, ¿qué es eso? 
Chuntaduro is, um, I don't know how to say, is the, uh, uh, is, uh, is it like born? Beetle, beetle huh? caterpillar, beetle, beetle caterpillar. Beetle, like, B like beer? B B E P L E. Type it, type it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, snail yes. soup. I never tried snail soup. Is it good, Maria? Maria Corea? Is it good? I don't know. Oh, okay. So what else? Okay, good. So what other exotic food you are aware of? Maybe you have never tried, but maybe you want to. Is el gusano de escarabajo? So wait, so you you have tried that, Wilmer? <laughs> yes, but it's delicious. It's like a chicken. Okay. Have you ever tried wasalo? Do you know what wasalo is? Wasalo? <laughs> Maybe oh, with okay. that name, I didn't know. No. Uh, do you, don't you know what wasalo is? No, maybe with that name, I didn't know it. Okay, uh, let me give, uh, let me type in the chat the name, okay? Okay, okay. that's a, a, an English name, but I'm gonna give you the English name so that you can have a better idea. It's, uh, I try Swishy, okay. Uh, Puzzum, Puzzum, I guess that's yeah, the right spelling, let me see. Yes, Puzzum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a puzzle is? No. No. Huh? Don't you know what a puzzle? <laughs> huh? A puzzle. Yeah. A puzzle. It's a Mexican food. It's a Mexican food. No, 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 no. Look for that animal. Look for that animal on Google, and you will <laughs> go to find that one. Taco, taco, sin peinado. Well, here in Morazan, okay, here in Morazan, we call it a uh, oh, uh, I already see. We, <laughs> okay, here in Morazan, we call it, we call it, um, we call it Guasalo. Pero en, el nombre es Sarigüeya. Right, there you go, Cristóbal. Thank you, yes. And Thank Spanish you. is Sarigüeya, like the no, movie. No, <laughs> okay, um, so aquí en la parte de Morazán, we call it wasalo. And you know what? Wasalo is tasty because it tastes like chicken. Oh. Ah, what, what one type of meat that I that I tried that was uh -huh. weird was deer with tobacco. Weird with tobacco. It tobacco, was... Right? How do you say macerado? Macerado. It's when I, you prepare before the, the, the meat. Oh, you mean like marinated? It. You mean like marinated? Yeah, marinated. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, With okay, tell me, tell me what kind of food you have tried. Kind of weird, but very good. Mm -hmm. What kind of food have you tried? Anca de rana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, what is that, Wilmer? Toro. Toro. Uh, this is a chantaduro. Oh, chantaduro. Garrobo. Okay, Osmel says garrobo. What about you, Eric? Toro. You mean like toro? Toro, toro, like moo. Toro. toro? Huh? Toro. Oh, okay. Toro. Okay, okay, uh -huh. toro. Okay, toro. Okay, what else? Let me see in the chat. Let me see in the chat. Garrobo, who else? What else? What else? Okay. Rabbit, tacuacin. Oh, tacuacin as well. Okay, tacuacin. Armadillo. Armadillo, yeah, armadillo. What else? Snake. Snake? Have you tried snake? Yeah. Oh. Carapacho de cusico. I didn't know. I didn't know that you can eat carapacho de cuzuco. Uh -huh. I didn't know, but okay. Cuzuco. Cuzuco, yes. Cuzuco is very good. I yeah. tried in Colombia and here. 
Okay, what about octopus? Have you ever tried octopus? Ah, uh, delicious. Yes, octopus. Pizza. Octopus is good, especially when you are um, very delicious. Octopus. You are uh, what kind, what's the name of that kind of soup that you try when you go to the the sea and it's fish, crab, lobster, fish, and everything. ¿Cómo se le llama esa sopa? Mariscada. Mariscada. Yes. Yes. You can get uh, octopus over there, like in the, in the mariscada, you can get octopus in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. Garrobo in his, in all, in, in al waste, okay? Okay, okay, that sounds tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm all starving. Right, yes. So why, why I was talking about food? Because I know you have tried a lot of food, a lot of um, new food, a lot of crazy food. All right. So today's topic, as you know, uh, it has to be with, um, with the past simple or simple past and the present perfect. As you know, the simple past or past simple, when we talk about uh, a specific or past simple, we mean specific times in the past. For example, we all the time, we need time expression. ¿Se acuerdan cuando les dije que, que cómo se llamaban esto? ¿Se acuerdan? Do you remember? Do you remember? Time expressions. For example, expression. yesterday, last year, last month. Uh, and remember, we can have past time expressions, and also future time expressions. Si fueran future, ¿cuáles serían? Future time expressions. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Next year. Next year. Next yeah. month. Next week. Yes. Okay. So when we are using the past simple, we need time expressions in the past. Okay. For example, look, look at this example. Wait, wait, give me a second. Okay. I went to the park. When do you go to the park? Oh, yesterday. I studied in China in 2010. See? I studied in China in 2010. So when we, when we use the simple past, we are talking about very specific times in the past. However, when we are talking about the present perfect, the topic or the specific time in the past is vague. Why? Because we do not specify, all right? For example, look at these expressions that we can use to express present perfect, ever, never, not yet, already, so far, today, till now, up to the present. Look at the example. I never gone to the park. I haven't been to China yet. ¿Qué significa el yet aquí? Question. ¿Qué significa el yet allí? That no. I want to do it. Aún. But Aún. I don't know. Aún. Aún. Yes. I haven't been to China yet. Aún. Okay. All right. Or todavía. What is it? Todavía. Todavía o aún. Mm -hmm. Todavía mm -hmm. no he ido a China o todavía no he estado en China. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Sure. Yes. Um, the difference for the time expression in the um, simple, in the past simple and the present perfect, I see, for example, use a uh, um, have in the expression for, for example, never, ever, not yet, already, and and you uh, you always um, use the have in the oh, present. Perfect. That's the present perfect. Okay, that leads me to. And the Dale. verb is, is in past, past participle. participle. Past participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. No worries. So 
when we are using the simple past, remember, it's any kind of verb in simple past. For example, I bought this car last week. Tell me something that you did last week. Tell me something that you did last week. Hello? What did you do I last ate week? Pizza. Hmm? What is it? I ate pizza. I, I ate, ate pizza. pizza. Okay. Okay. What else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What else? Another exercise? Another sentence. I'm sorry. I, I ate I tamales. Walk. I ate tamales. I walked. Mm -hmm. What else? I walked at the park. I drank wine. Okay. I drank a uh, wine. I walked at the park. Good. What else? Okay, if you see, when we are using, uh, let me see in the chat, I went to the beach last week. Okay, thank you, Cristobal, thank you. All right, remember, when we are using the simple past, we are talking about actions that finished in a definite time in the past. To ask when, what time, where? Look at this example. They have arrived. Mm -mm. When did they arrive? An hour ago, okay? <laughs> What about the present perfect? And then Ada was asking, why teacher, why you why do you use have and then the time expression and then the sim and the past participle of the verb? Okay. It's because when we are using present perfect, the actions which happened in an indefinite time in the past and with visible results in the present. For example, I have lost my key. I can't find it now. Solo digo, yo he perdido mi llave. No digo, yo perdí mi llave el lunes. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ¿Sí? O yo perdí mi llave ayer. But in this case, since I'm using the present perfect, it's because the actions are somehow connected to the present. ¿Ok? Por o ejemplo. Sea, fue hace un ratito. Pues, ajá, exactly. Puede ser que haya sido en la mañana en mediodía, en la tarde, pero usted no sabe cuándo. Solo dice, I have lost my key. Y alguien le pregunta, ¿y dónde las pusiste? <ríe> oh, that's yeah. what I'm telling. <ríe> I don't know, si les han preguntado, si les han hecho esas preguntas. Pero, I lost ¿Dónde my las dejaste key. la última vez? Ajá, no yo, las oh, tienes. Yeah, that's why I'm looking for. Ok. Ok, look at the other one. To describe very recent actions. She has just moved to a larger flat. Am I telling when? No. See, when I don't include a, um, a time expression using simple past, okay, I'm going to use the present perfect. Look at the other example. I guess this other example is going to be clearer. Look at this one. Use a simple past for completed events. Uh, at a definite time in the past. Use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present. For example, I'm going to use the chat now. Look, for example, I, I have taught English for a long period of time. See? Pregunto, ¿estoy diciendo cuándo comencé? No. No, sí, sí. Pero miren esta otra oración. Uh -huh. I started... I started teaching English back in... Since. 20, back in 2014. Sí. I started teaching English back in 2014. ¿Sí? I'm using simple past porque estoy especificando la fecha, 2014. En Walter, in this case, I'm not using since. ¿Ok? No estoy yeah. utilizando since. Porque si utilizara oh, since, oh. ahí sí, yo le diría, uh, utilizaría since. Por ejemplo, I have that yeah. English since. Yeah. Exactly. ¿Sí? Maybe, since. Maybe, yeah. Look at the other example. I had taught English. Yeah. Yo he enseñado inglés desde 2014. Desde. Yeah. Okay. I had taught English yeah. since 2014. Okay. All right. 
So, look at the example. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Do you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Do you go alone? No, I went with some friends. All right. I have a question. Is that clear, that topic? Is that a topic clear? I think. Do you think? Sure. Oh, yes, yes. The, yes. The, 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 is the question is in um, person perfect could be answered in simple past. Could be? Mm, no. Oh. Look, have you ever been to Salvador del Mundo? Salvador del Mundo. Look at that question. Have you ever been to Salvador del Mundo? ¿Cómo me contestaría si yo les hiciera esa pregunta? How would you answer if I asked you that question? Yes, no. I have been. Yes, Ajá, I have. Yes, have ever. yes, I have. Or... Or no, I haven't. I ¿Sí? haven't. ¿Sí? So the same way I ask is the same way that you are going to answer. Okay. All right. Pero mire, si yo les hiciera esta pregunta, do you go to Salvador del Mundo yesterday? ¿Cómo me contestarían ahí? Do you go yes, to Salvador del Mundo yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Oh, no, I no, didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, okay. I did. Is that, is that clear? So, yes, I, cuando preguntamos... I, did. I went to the Salvador del Mundo. Yes. See, yes. when I when I ask or when I use the present perfect con have you ever or have you, no estoy mencionando el tiempo específico. Solo estoy haciendo una pregunta en general. Ok, uh -huh. por ejemplo, okay. la pregunta, have you ever been to Guatemala? Sí, no estoy preguntando cuándo fueron a Guatemala, solo estoy preguntando si han estado en Guatemala. Sí, have you ever been to Guatemala? Ok, yes, ok, yes, ok, okay. now what I like you to know, what I like you to do is, vamos al chat, and I want you to Type in the chat a question with have you. Remember, okay, let me show, let me show you something. Y eso era lo que me decía, I guess it was an Ada. Look, when I have the have you or has, I'm going to use what? Look. And then oh. the past participle of the verb, see? Okay. Have you ever? been or have you ever eaten have you ever spoken have you ever visited have you ever uh slept i don't know etc all right okay utilizamos qué tipo de verbo utilizamos acá mm -hmm. what kind of verb past participle past participle okay so, vamos so, al chat yes vamos al chat y háganme una pregunta have you ever y ahí escríbelo Yes, Anita. How long have you been working in this company? Good question, Wilmer. Good question. Have you ever been in the United States? Okay. Anita, do you have a question? No, oh. not in the chat. Okay, okay. Nah. Okay. Have you ever cheated in a test? <laughs> okay. Have you ever had an, an accident, a car accident? Have you ever visited, have so, you ever been in, in Volcano, San Salvador Volcano? Good question. Uh -huh, another question. Have you ever been to, um, to Honduras? My question is the first, I think. Okay. Have you ever been in the half of the ocean? In the middle, in the middle, uh, Eric, in the middle of the ocean. A eso creo que se refiere, ¿verdad, Eric? In the middle of the ocean. Yes, yes. Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay. Let me see your questions. 
Have you ever been in the United States? Okay. Have you ever been in, in United Satellite Teacher? Okay, in the United States, I guess. Have you ever done tamales? Have you ever shit in the test? Have you ever been in Europe? Okay. Have you ever had an accident, a car accident? Have you ever visited Coatepeque Lake? Have you ever been in, in San Salvador Volcano? Have you ever been to Honduras? Have you ever been in Argentina? How long time? How, how long time? Wait, 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 wait. How long time have you ever been practicing? Have you, how long have you been practicing parachuting, okay? How, have you, okay, how long have you, okay? Have you ever visited Los Naranjos? Have you ever been in an airplane, okay? Have you ever slept for one day? Have you ever been to Lago Cuatepeque or Ilopango? Have you ever traveled in an airplane? Okay, good, good, very good. All right, I can see that you know how to ask questions. Have you ever, have you definitely, Wilmer, I'm from, I'm from the Easter part. Come on, yes. <laughs> Believe me, mayonnaise, uh, pupusas with mayonnaise, they are the best ever. No discussion. Oh my God. No discussion, okay? <laughs> yes. It's good, teacher. I never, I never. I tried them. Highly, never highly, 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 super. In mega, which part do you super. put the mayonnaise? Well, you got cabbage, you know, uh -huh. cabbage, el cultivo. Uh -huh. So cabbage uh -huh. with mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. You don't put just I the mayonnaise. This when I tried this when I visited. Uh -huh. I thought, yeah, like you your face. What have you ever? Teacher, tastes weird. No, yeah. no, it's super delicious. And then you just add yeah. some tomato sauce. Yeah. If you add some tomato sauce, oh my god, that's very delicious. I prefer mayonnaise um, as um, tomato sauce. Oh, you know, in my case, I don't like a uh, black sausage. I don't like that one, the black sauce, because um. Yeah. I know a lot of people, they add like salsa negrita, salsa roja, salsa no que, salsa no que, and um, not really. But if you had never tried pupusas with, um, with mayonnaise, um, with mayonnaise, cabbage and everything, oh my gosh, you don't know what you're missing, okay? <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. All right. You didn't have childhood. I, I mean, I love both. For example, my wife, when we go and we get pupusas, my wife, uh, she prefers the other one and I prefer mayonnaise. So, yeah. And they both are delicious, but I feel like in my case, I, since I had tried both, so I think the other one is better. That's what I think. I don't know. And if you don't want to try this uh, mayonnaise, uh, you are losing the life. <laughs> Thank you, Wilmer. <laughs> Okay, have you ever been in Ruta de las Flores? Yes, I've been to Ruta de las Flores, yeah, especially to yes. uh, Puerto Suelo. I like them. Puerto Suelo, I've been with, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Apaneca? Apaneca, yes, I've been to Apaneca. I have been to Apaneca. Have you ever gotten married? Okay. You are, but you are. No, no, but that, listen, uh, and that, wait, 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 there is an in. Okay. Listen, just imagine uh, you don't know anything about that person and then have you got married? Have you, if you ask that question, that means that you might think that that person, she's old, he or she's old, and then maybe he or she's a widow, viudo or viuda, and then you ask that question, have yeah. you ever, have you got married? It's like, you don't know, but then you see because that person married, is old. Is yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's gotten 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 married. It's correct. Yeah, gotten married. Have you yeah, ever gotten married? Have you gotten married? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Yes. Yes, I have. Or no, I, no, I haven't. All right. Let me see another question. Uh, have you? Is like Sala. Have you ever been in Bruca Flamenco? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Now let's practice something that I would like you to do. Uh, we have a couple of minutes to go. Let me see. Let me, let me yes, yes, yes. Tell me. Tonight I'm missing the breakout rooms. The breakout rooms? Yes. Oh no, 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 no. No now, no now. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we're gonna do an activity right now, and then you are going to um, make sentences. Okay, uh, I'm trying to. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna share sound. Here we go. All right. So what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna play uh, a game, and um, this is a um, a very great game, and. You're going to make questions. Okay, for example, uh, let's do one. Okay, let me see. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. Okay, let's say. The question is, have you ever... How would you, how would you make a sentence? Have you ever what? For example... What is the past participle of the verb sleep? Past participle. Sleep. 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 Okay, so the question would be, have you ever slept sleep. in a tent? In a tent. What is tent? What is Sleste. the meaning of tent? Tent is tienda de campaña. Tienda de campaña, good. So oh. the question is, have you ever slept in a tent? Yes or no, in your cases? No, I haven't yes. in my case. Okay. Yes. Yes, I yes. have. Okay, let's, okay, cada vez que el, gire la ruleta, ustedes van a hacer la pregunta, okay? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Question, how would it be the question? Question? Kept, no, tell me the sentence. Have you have ever, ever kept, kept a diary? A diary? Okay, good. Next, next, next. Let's do it quickly, very quickly. Question. Question. What is that? Uh, have you given a presentation? No. Have no. you ever you, look, look. have you ever given? Aha, uh -huh. have you ever a given you, uh, given a yes. presentation? Give, uh -huh. Have you ever given? Okay, next. Next. And then next. That's it. here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, really? Again? Vamos a eliminarla. No la necesitamos. We don't need anymore. Next. Here we go. Okay. Question. Have you have ever made, made, made someone have an operation? Okay. Have, have you ever made some, ever made someone cry? Made someone cry? Have you ever made someone cry? Vamos a preguntarle a ustedes. Have you ever made someone cry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We made it, yeah. Yes, uh -huh. I have. Yes, okay. I have. No, that's on me. That's on me. <laughs> okay, next. Next. Let's see. Uh-huh. Yes, question. Have you ever have you played, ever played, 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 played the tennis? Have you ever played the tennis? Okay. tennis? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, repeat after me. Have you, have you? Have you. you. Have yeah. you. Como Javier, como dijimos nosotros, Javier. Okay, okay. <laughs> como Javier. Have okay. You. Okay. Have you. Have you ever? Ever. Have you ever? <laughs> Okay, repeat after me. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? Okay, good. Okay, next, next, next. Okay, let's see. Oh. Uh-huh. Have you ever? Have you ever seen in the ocean? Have you ever seen in the ocean? ¿Cuál es el, el, el swam. 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 Ok, good. Swam. Ok, nice. Next. Next. Yes. 
Question. Have you ever visited you, you Pakistan? Have you ever what? Have you ever what? Flum. 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 Okay, go to the chat and, and type it. Chat. Uh, put in the chat. Put in the chat. Put in the chat. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Okay, let me see. Okay, flown. Have you ever flown? Okay. Okay, it's not flu. Okay, flu is the simple past. Okay, flu is the simple past. Flu. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one, we're going to play the last one because of the time. I, to be honest, I didn't feel the time. Okay, the last one. Flown. Okay. Flown, yeah. Oh, okay. Have you? Have you ever ride a horse? Ridden. Ridden. Ridden a horse. Ridden a horse. Okay, ridden a horse. Ridden a horse. Okay, so in conclusion, remember that we can ask um, questions about past experiences asking, have you? Have you ever flown in the ocean? Have you gone to the United States? And antes de que me vaya, quiero dejar algo muy claro. Do you know the difference between have you been and have you gone? Mm -hmm. What is the difference between have you been to Guatemala and have you gone to Guatemala? Be, he estado, uh, we, gone es, yes, but, uh, gone is as ido, but is a but, different verb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a different word, but the meaning, the meaning, the meaning, the meaning. I know, I know, but uh, what is the different? Yo sé que el verbo cambia. What is the different? Mm -hmm. Have you been and have you gone? Going okay. So I'm going to I'm going to wrap up this class with that question, and that's going to be your assignment. So tomorrow, I'm going to ask you what is the difference between have you been to and have you gone to? Okay, and that's what we're going to start tomorrow. And tomorrow, by the way, we are going to start talking about. Uh, time sequence like first, second, next, and so on. Okay, that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Is there any question? Mm -hmm. Any question? No question. Teacher. No question. Okay. So thank you okay, so much. Teacher, only for the difference, or or uh, have you ever been and have you ever? <laughs> okay. Try to come up with ideas like. What is the difference between have you ever been and have you ever gone? Okay. Okay. That's the okay. assignment that you have for tomorrow. So thank you for showing up. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Everybody. So bye bye bye. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 B